Okay, so people have been telling me to relax my face on the camera so that I can talk better. But like when I try to relax my face, like it just... Okay guys, story time. So when I was in the prime age of 11 or 12 or however old you are when you're in grade 7, I had the biggest elementary school crush. And so those of you guys who knew me back then, you guys can probably stop watching this video. In the prime time of my life in grade 7, I had the biggest elementary school crush. And let me tell you, back then, I was growing into the true romantic person that I am today. The true romantic person that you all know and love. Me. My guitar. But back then, I guess I was in a stage of training wheels, but little did people know that <laughs> I was a prodigy in the making. So, you know, back in elementary school, Valentine's Day is celebrated a bit differently. You know, everyone kind of makes their own little box, their Valentine's Day box that you make in like arts and crafts and then once you have that Valentine's Day box on Valentine's Day or the Friday beforehand, everyone makes Valentine's like with the little cards, you know, the little Valentine's Day cards that you can buy from the dollar store. The cool kids would all have little Valentine's Day cards that reflected the most trendy movie at the time. I, I don't I don't really know what that was. All I all I watched was anime. Everyone made their little Valentine's Day cards and with the Valentine's Day cards, people would include a chocolate, you know, sometimes you'd include something extra extra for the person you liked. Well, that's kind of the same thought that I had. The day before Valentine's Day, you know, I went home, my mom helped me, you know, buy the little Valentine's Day cards that you make for everyone. And you know, I was looking forward to giving my crush something pretty special. And like I said, I was a romantic prodigy in the making. Because I thought to myself, like, hey, it's the middle of February. And my mom and I were growing our own herbs. We did it before it was cool and we had a little pot of basil. Now I know what you're thinking. How does basil translate into this story? Well, the connection is pretty clear. So me and my romantic mind just kind of thought, I love smelling this basil plant. So I'm gonna take a few leaves. I'm gonna put it in a small plastic bag. And you know, along with everyone else's Valentine's that they're going to put in everyone's boxes, you know, which I'm going to do because back then, Valentine's Day was just about celebrating friendships and eating chocolate together. It wasn't about sitting at home, scrolling through social media and, and not doing... Anyways, what I thought to do is I, I'd take these basil leaves, I'd put them inside a plastic bag in, and the next day, on Valentine's Day, everyone went and gave out their Valentine's. And so, you know, I had my little Valentine's Day cards on them and wrote like, hey, John, you're so cool. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's some chocolate. And so I, you know, I gave one of those to everyone. When everyone else went out for recess, you know, I'm not going to drop this bag of fresh herbs that would surely win over the love of my life at the time. Everyone's going to drop it into their, their Valentine's box in public. People are going to make fun of me. You know, I was in grade seven. I was self-conscious about that kind of stuff. So while everyone else went out for recess, I stayed behind. Which I did anyways, because I had to write a lot of lines at the time. And I, I slipped it into her desk. And I thought to myself, you know what, if she comes back from recess and she sees in her desk, her reaction is something like, Oh wow, someone gave me an extra bag of scented leaves. <laughs> I'm going to fall in love with this hopeless romantic. And then at that time, I'd reveal myself, Hey, those are my basil leaves. And then we lived happily ever after. That's not what happened. Contrary to my expectations. What ended up happening is we found the basil leaves in her desk. And then all the girls were like, what the hedge? This is so creepy. And I heard that and my heart just broke a little bit. And now I'm, now I'm just forever alone. But all the same. <laughs> Valentine's Day back in the day, grade 7 was pretty simple. If you didn't make it complicated like I did, people gave Valentine's to their friends. And I thought to myself like, man, whatever happened to making Valentine's Day gifts for your friends with little cards? And so I decided to do that. But you know, I have money now and I can spend money on stupid things like giving gifts to my friends. I decided to make Valentine's Day gifts for my single friends. I just made a list of them. Okay, I'm going to drop off a Valentine's Day gift to them, but I can't make a drive for them kind of worthless and just to give them a little Valentine's Day card, I'm going to give them something a bit more. Anywho, this project was pretty simple. I won't bore you with the details. I went to Shop's Drug Mart. I picked up some Valentine's Day cards. It's these little fruit ones. They're pretty cute. They have some puns on them. I bought these. You know, I wrote a little note on it. Maybe I wrote one to myself because, you know, that's how I do things here. And then I went to none other than the store that everyone thinks of when it comes to making Valentine's Day gifts. I went to TNT, 
TNT. Yeah, so I went to TNT and at TNT, I just thought to myself, I'm going to buy everything that's pink. And let me tell you, there wasn't much items that were pink there. I picked up some strawberry pocky, you know, that's kind of a staple pink food. I also picked up some Kinder Bueno, I think that's how you say it. And if you guys haven't tried this chocolate yet, it's it's one of my favorites. It's pretty, it's like crunchy, it's creamy, it's chocolatey. That's, I guess that's what you want. Better than basil leaves at least. I picked up some haw flakes. And if you guys haven't had these, you guys are super missing out. And this is actually the first time that I've seen like the big ones. Usually they're like a lot smaller, but I got the big ones this time. I attached a few of those to the Valentine's Day gifts. And then I also came across some pink instant noodles. And they're like carbonara, like spicy chicken flavor. I just had to get them. So I got them and I put it all together to make one super hype, epic Valentine's Day gift. And let me tell you, I'm actually not very detail oriented. So I just kind of slapped it together. At the end of the day, it looked pretty good. This is one of the gifts that I made. You know, it's just kind of taped up here. You got a half, half like thing hanging here. It's kind of messy, just like how my life is messy, but but messy isn't a bad thing, okay? And I'm going to go to, to deliver them now. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so we live in Canada and I should have known beforehand, but it was actually really cold while I was delivering these gifts. I think it felt like negative 25 with the wind chill. And so I kind of got lazy um, when I wanted to get these video clips. And I'll definitely give you guys more next time. But I was able to see a few friends, drop some off at some doors. That's just how it is. And, and yeah, uh, they got to enjoy the little valentine's day gifts i gave them anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i encourage you guys to connect with your friends tomorrow on valentine's day and yeah i'll see you in the next vlog now if you're thinking but micah i'm single and i'm your friend and i didn't get a gift <laughs> well then you know hit me up hit me up i'm just i'm just kidding and if you're also thinking micah what the heck that's so desperate you're just doing this to get attention well then you're not wrong <laughs> i'm also just kidding about that too